So, welcome back to, um, to my YouTube channel and my little, uh, as it turns out, series of videos uh, regarding my, my home built hydrogen line telescope project. Last video I was, uh, I was talking about how to hook the um, FEDRI net SDR up to a ICR7000 and making it all run at IF frequency at the, uh, using Qt SDR on, the, on my map. Um, I've gone a little further this time. I've added a, um, a horn antenna inside. I have a lid on it right now because I don't want it to receive anything even though I'm inside. Um, on the output of the horn antenna I have two 20 dB gain blocks with a filter in between. There are really no, no noise, um, 0 0.5 dB noise. Um, and a long cable that goes all the way around the table over to the uh, input of the R7000. On the table as well I have a small home built noise generator. Uh, it's just a classic uh, classic circuit with, uh, with a Sina diode and um, that emits noise. That enables me, when I hold it, this to the can or to the opening after removing the lid over here, I can hear the noise increase and I know that my system basically, uh, basically works. This is all uncalibrated. I have Basically, no clue what I'm doing. Well, that's a joke, except I, I don't know anything about the actual noise output signal level, so it's, it's just for testing purposes to see if, uh, if this works the way it should. I'm not tuned to 1420 megahertz. It says 420, but there's a small gigahertz lamp there, which means it's at 1.42 gigahertz. And we can see the noise level here on my, uh, my display is uh, stable around minus 100 dBm. That sounds like a lot of noise. Uh, I need to do more processing and, and need to think more how, how, I, how I can probably or possibly um, bring it down. Anyway, if I lift the lid here, you might be able to hear already that the noise has actually increased. And if you look down here, there's my small feed horn. This will not be my final antenna. This is my feed horn for, for a dish. And now you can see that the noise actually uh, picks up. It's around 60 dB more noise than uh, with the lid on so there's definitely something going on. All those spikes are unfortunately harmonics inside the Fedri receiver and this, this is really unfortunate but after all as I mentioned in the, uh, my previous video this um, initially will make it out as a, uh, a cheap spectrum analyzer. If it turns out I can't use it for anything well then fine then what I've done I've basically just extended the range of my Fedri to 2 GHz using the uh, R7000 so, so that's nice. Now, if I take this little noise probe and put it here, and see the noise increases dramatically. Basically, it goes all out of the scale over here. If I take it away, you can see that gradually the signal will come back down. That's going to take a while because I have average... Uh, I'm using a 32K FFT here, and I'm averaging 50 scans. So it takes quite a level for it to stabilize, but that's, that's nice because it gives... Uh, a decent picture. Anyway, um, well this is the first uh, system setup test I have done. Now next logical step would be to go to my friend who has a nice large dish and try to hook this up and, uh, and see what I can pick up. So, um, well I guess next video will, from, will be from out there.